welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome um as you can tell we're standing once again here in my closet you know i did upload a video where we had did a little makeover and organizing everything here in my closet but i'm gonna share an item that i was sent by Yita home i'm still trying to find organization systems and everything to work here in our closet so this one just worked up perfectly fine i gotta go ahead and Put it quickly together and everything and then i'll pop back on here show you everything the way it's looking like and start putting stuff and organizing in there this one actually has a little spot where one of the drawers you can actually lock with the key which just makes it even more fun and more exciting it's a filing cabinet but i'm going to use it as organization storage and then i also have two drawers underneath our bathroom sink that need like desperate help and I have tons of um, baskets and stuff left over after I cleared our um, refrigerator so we're gonna go ahead and use these to organize it down in the cabinet below but I will go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what that cabinet is looking like before I could go ahead and start working with organizing the one I'm going to put inside of our closet over here to help with some organization. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, don't forget to give this video a okay, like. So this is the disaster we have going on underneath this bathroom sink drawer or cabinet. Um, as you can tell, there is a lot, but a lot of wasted space on the top. So besides using those um, bins to organize everything down here I'm going to see if there's a way my husband could probably try and put like a shelf or something so we don't have so much storage space going to waste uh, but I just want to show you guys what this is looking like and now I'm just going to go ahead and show you the cabinet that we're going to be unboxing real quick and then we're just going to go ahead and start organizing so once again thank else. you so much eat the home for sponsoring this portion of today's video so we're going to go ahead and quickly open up this box like i mentioned before it is a filing cabinet but you can find purpose use for it like i mentioned i'm using it for storage organization in our closet and i just love how they pack their items always comes really nicely protected against any bad shipping that it could run into and then it always comes with the tools you're going to need like for example a screwdriver or so on so it's just so easy to put this item together you don't even have to go out and buy a screwdriver if you don't have one or go out and look for one but i'm going to go ahead and take this box out before the kids find it and start destroying all of the foam but here is what it looks like as you can tell it does have this drawer or this cabinet door part over here that does close with a magnet and then it has this very huge deep filing drawer that has the metals to hang files you know how they sell some files that hang and then for protection you can also lock it it comes with two keys as you guys will see they're hanging there and it definitely locks really nice i really really like this one it is on wheels so it's so easy to transport it from spot to spot so it has a five wheels for is one on each corner and then one in the center because it's a pretty long size as well but i will have it linked in the description box down below for you guys if you guys are interested okay so i'm sitting here on the floor i have no idea whatsoever how am i gonna store everything in here but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start off by taking these out so like some have like my husband's beanies or bathroom wash towels my nail supplies and another one just has like papers and stuff and just figure out how I'm going to put stuff in here. Like I mentioned, it has these two drawers here that are open. Um, so some cute little cubby baskets would look cute in there as well. And then it has the big drawer that opens and like you can lock and hide stuff in there. And then it just has this one like this. You have nothing that's sliced and like all kinds of clutter or something just to hide in there. Well, that's fine because it has the door. But I think besides this, these items from this basket, I think I'm going to add a couple of stuff that I also have on the top still and just make it look more clean on the top. Plus, it gives me more space and room to put other stuff. Like if I have like nice baskets or stuff to go on the top that are just like, you know what I mean? Like it looks nicer. But we're going to go ahead and work over here and see how I'm going to organize everything here. Um, so yeah, let's I'm gonna stop talking and let's go ahead and get started sliding in there So I'm thinking what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna leave 
certain items, whatever I'm gonna put in there, and I could just probably like let me so get like the camera. It's not there, but in this area here, the basket fits just perfectly fine. So, like I mentioned, like these are my husband's work beanies, so that will probably just go in there like that, and then whatever items I'm fine with having loose, probably go there, or either I'll take the white bins that I had under our bathroom sink and if they fit here then put them there but they're kind of like those bins there but they're the, the lighter color ones that you get at Dollar Tree so I'm going to see if they fit there if not we're going to have to figure out something to put there well taking that back when I mentioned these don't fit here I guess they do kind of fit in there a little tight but they're still easy to pull in and out um so i think what i'm gonna do is since this cover here has some papers in there uh i think i'm gonna put these in the drawer since the drawer locks and then like for example like my nail supplies i'll probably just put them in there or probably like out of the box yeah we're gonna go ahead and take them out of the box they're in a little bin itself already so and in here i just have like my acrylic and fake nails and the drill and all of that since i like to do my own nails um and my nail polishes and everything are up in the back so i don't even know what i need these for but we're just gonna leave them there and then this basket has our hand towels, so let me take them out. Oh, besides hand towels, also has sewing, sewing items. Jesus, Jesus, so this is what I have set up my new items. I put back there and then just like the sewing things here but I'm thinking because I mentioned that the papers from this basket I was going to put in here but I changed my mind what I'm actually going to do because these are like we really don't even go to them so I'm just going to pour this back there and then let's see and put like sewing item here Well, that's not going to close, so I guess I could stay like that. So I think I'm just going to do it like that. And let me try flipping it around. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. It's not going to close too out. So, back to square one. Like that that and well that's no problem because it's still easy to access this so we'll keep that like that for now so we're gonna close this one we're done oh and then the little handles in here are so cute little metal handles now we're gonna work out here and see what we could put inside this drawer here it's really really deep also so it's a really really good size before that these were not pleasing to the eye but I guess they hide fine in there so this is gonna have my husband's beanies so it just tucks in really nicely and then over here we'll have you guys saw me folding our bathroom hand towels I do need to do wash the rest of them and then we'll just put them here and then I have these little baby ones here they're like burp towels that I use for the kids when they have fever so we just wet them with cold water and put them on their forehead so we're gonna go ahead and store we're gonna go ahead and store those in there and now we're gonna move on to here so what I'm gonna do is remove some items from the top you guys are gonna see real quick and we're gonna go ahead and store them inside
Okay, so I want to quickly share what I have in the drawer. So I have these boxes that were from my husband's shoes that he's bought. And, and I just keep all of the kids' school stuff in here. Just kids' memories. And then this one here has like their hospital memory stuff. Like their little hospital bands when they were babies and so on. And then I have this plate we got in Baja California. Um, the Bufadora. And I just put it in here and it fits perfectly fine you can see it closes I'm not even gonna lock it no need to lock then I have those baskets there and then here I just put the albums because the kids like to go through them a lot and I had them up on the top but I think it's just gonna work better here and these right here have a bunch of pictures in there that I do need to get albums for but that is what this whole area is looking like you can see I still have more storage space room but for now, that is it, and it's going to look way more better than when you can see the baskets that were stacked up right there. So I will link this filing cabinet in the description box for you guys, but you can use it so many ways besides filing, like I am using it for organizations. Also, if you have a lot of purses or stuff, you can put like your purses stacked here, lock up some stuff in there, hide uncluttered items over there just so many different ways to use it you can use it out for your living room office a school room but i'm using it here in our closet okay so now we're going to go ahead and quickly just tidy up here in our closet so it's just finished and of course i'm just going to take a rag and quickly wipe everything down like i mentioned in my master closet makeover it does get very very dusty in here so definitely taking the advantage to wipe it down here is what it all looks like and i also have extra storage space so the boxes now. that i put in the drawer in the bottom were actually hidden over there in that corner and then the albums were here so i already gave myself that whole extra space there and then towards over here by the purses i still have like a little space here so it definitely makes a difference and then well up there we need extra toilet papers we have two packs there and then I have some stuff over there that I'm thinking I probably should have put in that cabinet also but we're gonna go ahead and leave them there because you, you could barely even see them there so they're still hiding and very perfectly fine so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our cabinet underneath the sink I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly take every single item out and wipe it down really nice and good with a Clorox wipey then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and sort all of the items up on the top and start organizing them in the bins and also going through the medicines and items that are no longer good. And of course, I'm going to find stuff that I didn't even remember I had. But at the same time, I'm noticing I need to add a shopping list because here refilling our cotton tips container, I noticed that I had just run out. But I didn't have one of these. I was needing one of these. Good thing I was searching through here because... Now I know I have one. So now that I'm done with these bigger bins, I'm going to go ahead and just store them here on the bottom just to get me some extra clear space off on the countertop. And now we're going to go ahead and start going through all of the smaller bins which we're carrying like the medicines and little items like that. I'm motivated to go ahead and tackle a drawer, cabinet, or a little tiny space or a bigger space in your home to start decluttering as well. Me 
Just a little tip I want to share with you guys. If you guys are ever into decluttering and organizing and need some storage bins, always check your Dollar Tree. Although I know a lot of places they run out super fast because my Dollar Tree is the same way. But never stop searching your Dollar Tree for these bins. They are just so sturdy and very easy to use in so many different ways and very very affordable yeah make sure you check your dollar trees for storage bins and if you guys are out of luck there they might you might just go on and check walmart as well he will show you his might and glory hello i slip i never fall he lifts me up So now I'm going to go ahead and start arranging the items on the bottom. Like I mentioned before, I was probably going to have my husband put a shelf in. But once you guys see the finished results, you guys are going to notice it wasn't even unnecessary. But if you guys need extra space and can add like a shelf or a divider or something inside, definitely go for it because it's going to give you more space instead of wasting space. Okay, so I'm done organizing underneath the sink. I think it looks a whole lot more better. Um, I didn't even ask my husband to put it in the shelf. I don't even think I need it now that it's nice and organized, but I'm just gonna share a little bit of what I have going on over here. So these bins back here are from Dollar Tree. Well, all of them are actually from Dollar Tree. I've already had them before. But those, this one back here has just like extra toothpaste and body soaps and then um, the hand soap to refill our bottles. Here you guys saw me organizing the band-aids so these are like the way big 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 ones the medium sized ones and then smaller more medium and then the more smaller with the alcohol just in case we need it we could just go ahead and grab it like this this whole container here has um adult medicines and then this is like cold um like cold and flu teas that my husband takes and then we have like hauls and stuff in this one and then this whole area here just has like the kids' medicine and then here I just have like our toothbrush a closed bottle of um alcohol the mouthwash I forgot the name of that mouthwash and then a bottle of cream and then in this one back here I just have extra shampoos body wash and those sponges to wash your uh, bodies which I don't know what they're called but those sponges to wash your body and then well the toilet paper well not toilet paper but the paper towels for when I wipe our mirrors down and then I'll also be putting our Clark's wipes down there once I'm done because now that I did this and I'm liking the way it looks I'm actually going to go ahead and organize this drawer over here of mine it's not that bad but it still needs a little bit of help but I just love the way this one turned out and I actually still have quite a few um bins over there that are left over but doesn't this look just way much better than when it looked previously and it's so easy to find because like the kids will have their own little section where they could look for medicine that they need motrin tylenol um allergy for jayla and coughing cold medicines and the adult medicine will be on this side so so much functional and easier to work with and find stuff now so i'm gonna share quickly what we have going on over here so you see we have hair products here some lotions deodorant and then fenomen's items back there and everything and then i know i have back there in the corner items like to dye your hair and stuff that i haven't used like in years so that definitely needs to get thrown out um but we're just gonna go ahead and take everything out lay it here on the floor quickly wipe inside and start fixing stuff so it looks a whole lot more better now Ever faithful, he'll always. 
always lift you up. I even have face masks here that I believe I got these for my birthday. I'm gonna say oh, last year. I can't even remember. Wonder do they expire? Hmm. I guess somebody is trying to face mess tonight. So I found this one. It's the lump of coal charcoal sheet mask with purifying charcoal. It's only one sheet in there. And then there's this one. It's your my blueberry jam. This kind of blues. It's a super fruit sheet mask. And it's only one mask as well. Leave on for 15 minutes. So gonna be trying some masks tonight This is how this side turned out. You can see much more better as well. So I have all of my feminine items in that bigger container back there. Here I just put all of my razor blades, the lotions, deodorant, coconut oil, and then this bottle I have here. I'm just gonna put this up here as well. So, and then, cause I don't even use that. So we have that there. And then here we just have hair products like Jayla's Detangler. This is like my favorite one cause focus okay this is my favorite one I get this one at Walmart for her so it's also lice prevention so super super good then I use this when my hair is curly and then I have this one here too I don't remember why I got it but I know I've used this also so hair products deodorant lotion um, razors feminine items over in the back and all of the rest is going to be trashed and so on so now i'm just going to go ahead and quickly clear off the counter you guys can see i took out a bag full of junk after decluttering underneath the sink from both sides i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day god bless each and every one of you and if you guys would like to see more videos like this don't forget to click that subscribe button and i hope to see you all in the next one bye guys Me.